good in the This is actually the second time I've started recording because the first time RTX Voice just decided to not run. There's no reason for it. Anyway, um, what we're actually going to be doing is loading the game. Um, let me switch over to stats. Um, I have altered things a little bit to try and reduce the amount of load on the video card. I haven't wiped my machine yet or anything. I don't think it's working. So this is going to be a combination video, I think. So I'm going to do a bit of grinding, showing you my super secret, although if anybody was paying attention to, like, things in the day, it's not that secret. Wow, Tim looks really weird when he's in the forest. And I just noticed that it's no longer glitching out. Remember, it used to be glitching out all the time in the forest? Huh. Here. Yeah, Tim looks fine here. And then, it's the same sprite, it's just... Hmm, I don't know. Anyway, what we actually need to do is go way back to the beginning of the game. I guess you can call this a grind fest slash let's analyze. Uh, I'm gonna be grinding for the first part. I'll put timestamps in the description. Hopefully, I'm really bad at remembering these types of things. But we're going to the withered ruins, the very start of the game. Remember, this was the dungeon that we rescued Tony from. This was uh, Ashley's prologue. There are no enemies in that section. This section. So we're after a particular type of enemy. That's not the type of enemy. I thought they were in there. Let me double check really fast to see what this is there. I could have swore it was in this one, but it might be in somebody else's center. No, it's just further inside of Oh, right. It's past the point where I have to drop down into the dungeon. Got it. As in here. You're a gold. I don't care about you. Oh, I should be using this to increase Tim's... Um, Cobalts have stones, interesting. I should be doing this to increase Tim's kill rating. Nice if Tim actually had really high speed or something, but that's not the thing. Probably after the save point. Would be my guess. Might as well be whip. I wish there was an equipment that increased my starting force, because that would actually be way more useful in my mind. Probably not. I'm two levels off of being able to hit AoE abilities. Why did I? That's 10,000. Wait, are Cobalt's weak against everything? This might be a really useful spot for some of analyze work. Cobalt, they are weak against air. Just air. Okay. 
Yes, Tim is at the point of doing 10,000 damage on a weak enemy. Well, this is the downstairs version. I'm pretty sure it's past the save point, because that's usually the way most of these work, is that it's whenever you go past the save point, it's when you're in a different section of the map or from that purposes. save point. I bet it's in here. There's a lot of ways of being able to get this enemy. Um, it's just that this is the easiest way. And what you want to make sure of when you encounter this particular enemy is that you don't have anybody with counterattack. You'll notice that I have never bothered getting the counterattack ability. I thought about getting critical up on Ken especially, but can or er, but um, I've never gotten anybody to counterattack, and the reason why is for this particular situation. Um, now this is the reason why I'm going to say that it is actually feasible for me to hit max level before I will kill the correct number of enemies for Tim, because that's how much XP these enemies give. And you might actually know what I'm talking about if you've watched a previous Wild Arms series. Well, at the rate that I'm going, I'm never going to freaking counter her. screen because my green screen's too thin and it's too bright outside right now. This is the reason why I normally don't record all that much in the morning. Is because um whatchamacallit, um This is just the exit. All right, let's go back through again. Do you actually work for my friend? No. Oh, that's a weird one. Okay. This would actually be an interesting way of having, um, getting kills for Tim, but Sturge is not what I'm looking for, and neither is a Cobalt. Very specific enemy. It's really easy to find this enemy in the game, too. That's why I'm confused as why I haven't seen it. Now, 
I have a grocery delivery that they'll be contacting me somewhat soon about. Um, the service that I use is now doing a premium grocery delivery, yes, I say premium grocery delivery thing where they actually text you as they are shopping their order. So I don't want to lose that. Alright. Pass the save point. I won't, by virtue of the fact that I can't find enough of these things. I think that now means that Tim needs to put something else. Yeah. Yeah, because these are the three abilities from the three remaining Guardians. There's only one on each of the Guardians. Alright, um... the one that gives you the highest speed increase. Looks like it's just me. It's, pro it's probably going to be safer, but... Um, no, actually. Weird. Okay. One down, 98 enemies left to go. I mean, if I just wanted to speed through those, I would just be doing, um... Uh, Whatchamacallit, I don't know. Uh, why am I blanking? Oh, this was back at the start. Um, I would just be... Hitting enemies right at the, uh starting area, um, the area outside of Mario Blue, where I can have a three balloon encounter. Oh, out of curiosity, what are we doing on the speed stat for everybody? Res 300, 332, 319. And I don't have anything that's increasing speed. faster for me to find an enemy and divide that enemy. So the way divide works in this game, divide being a skill of Tim's, is that it will take the enemy and find an ancestor enemy, or an enemy that it evolved from. Um, the ancestor enemy will be of half the level of the enemy that you're dividing from. So there are a series of chains of enemies where I can hit the correct enemy for this. This is just the only dungeon in the game that I know of that the minimal enemy actually appears. This is where I've always done this, and I don't know why I'm not finding the enemy. I don't remember ever having this much problem finding them. I have 
happy. Pokemon is in my backyard, but I don't want to There we go. Okay. What is it, if I'm not here? Play with you this morning because I'm doing other things. I'll be playing with you later. Don't feel bad about the poor, poor, mournful, mournful kitty who's crying that you can't hear because I have the Xbox on. Okay, is it just specifically in this room? No. That's what I'm looking for. This is a Gagasin. We encountered these in Wild Arms 1, but they weren't anything special. Gagasins are the first creature in the game that does pick on the Prime of Grey. Okay, so what we want, we don't need to look up for this yet. What we need is... Actually, I'm gonna put in Maribel. We need Maribel right now. Luca is going to carrot. Maribel is going to cast status lock. Tim, you have branch that I'm trying. Just a kind This is the reason why we need to make sure that we're... we don't have counter, by the way. It's because otherwise this would suck. Now, we're going to swap Volta and Cannon. Defend. Arabella cast. Spanish Lock on Cannon. Tim. Divide. It only works when there's a single enemy. In this case, we divided by zero. Do you remember these people from Wild Arms 1? The ones where I accidentally encountered them really early on in the game and went oh crap and tried to fight them and had a really hard time doing so? Yeah. They're back. So. These are the as they're spelled in this game. Ooh. There's a couple of creatures that divide into it. Um, Bollums also divide into it. Um, but they count as being level one. They drop duplicators and you can pickpocket Gimmel coins. So you can get infinite continues by pickpocketing them, I guess? Um, they don't have any, like, um, Whatchamacallit, uh, they don't have any weaknesses, I suppose. They don't have any real level. Their count is level one. They don't have any red skills. But they have gobs of hit points. 
I'm gonna give Gobbs a big beat. No, we can't. This is the reason why you have to make sure you have status locked on. Because that inflicts all sorts of status effects. And that's the reason why I wanted to trigger these encounters so I can actually do some testing. Now I know what room that they're in. Because these enemies are the best enemies in the game to grind against. Every status effect in the game and does damage. The other one just it attempts every status effect in the game without doing damage. And by the way, we have in fact seen this enemy in the game in this game already once, and that was from the um, observer like in the Silge region. Um, there's actually a picture of them sitting in there because they're aliens. Third type weapons can do much, but we'll find out. This isn't the Uber first aid, this is a regular first aid. And it's Raman Hidden Tim. Fine. Oh, I'm fine. Okay, yeah, that only gets this one up. Cannon's at map. ATP now. And it doesn't look like it because it doesn't have to go the stats ever. Oh yeah, you should probably have a better one of these. Sense. I think your punches to the face now do more damage than your dance. Um, I think Saber does the most damage right now. So let's find out how well brain actually works. But the main thing is that status lock is forever. Oh, I know, that's an instant death attack, I forgot. It doesn't actually drain hit points like it sounds like. Uh, Marathon's the one that has the drain hit points. If only I had the rage ability, that would be really nice right about now. We can auto-battle this now. most damage cannon can do. Cannon's max damage is actually significantly lower than most of my characters. But she doesn't expend resources for anything. So... I don't think she's really worth using. When I do the full analysis, I'll find out, and I'm going to be doing that soon. I'm 
try to pickpocket Gimmel points, but I don't think that's really worth doing. Takes a while to save 7,000 points. As opposed to 65,536 that they had in one of our coin. Because this game actually allows you to keep track of more than just that in unsigned integer number. damage, though, because, uh, now Luka actually has enough for armor down. Yeah, that's first aid. Get down a hundred. Yeah, that's the other thing. This game actually allows me to drop somebody's defense all the way down to zero, so I can actually test out how much damage things do, rather than having to use balloons. So I actually have a way of testing out stats like that. If only anything. Yeah. Cosmic Ray actually did more damage. No, I think we're going to have to do more damage. Experiment, Loka, Prime. Now Loka will be pure little snot out of you. That's right, you have to do more Saber. Then 60,000 experience and 100,000 yellow. See what I mean by they give the most XP? Now, we have had bosses that give more XP, and that will actually be one of the ways that we grind, is that we have a bunch of secret bosses. However, this boss in particular is really nice for setting up Let's Analyze stuff. That's why I wanted to see where it was at, and that's why this is a hybrid video of both a Let's Play and a Let's Analyze. So it's in this room. Got it. This isn't hard to get to. Except when I fall off like that. Why did I cancel that? I have no idea. But at this point, I am just going to leave. I want to set up a Let's Analyze. So I'm going to leave, save and exit. I just realized Tim is actually capable of casting. these once I give them an FP down ability, or FP cost down ability, which is what I'm planning on giving him next, but uh, I think he has enough points for it now. More back here, and we can just exit. Okay. So, let's see, we've gone a half an hour in this video, and I've done absolutely nothing but grind and talk. Cool. So, in 
order to set this up, I need a bunch of personal skills. I'm assuming I've spent everybody's, so I can't really do this very well. I have 11 and 12. How much of these cost? One each? Uh, I'm really gonna need more than that. I really need 24 plus 3. I don't know if I have a save with somebody with 27 personal skills. Let's find out. So that was the reason why I mentioned before that I'm okay with spending the personal skills because I can save. playing that song because otherwise I get a copyright flag. Personal skills four. No, I need to go further back. Not that. This. So, Valeria Chateau, it is. Ah, oh, dang it. Did not mean to hit Load State. Oh, One moment. Menu, undo Load State. It actually looked fine for you, but it looked really messed up for me. 21, alright. 21 is the most that I have. So if I grind a little bit here, I only need 24, so I only need to level her up three times. That's not going to be too hard to do. So I'm going to do that really fast. I'm going to pause the recording and level her up slightly. One moment. And back. Alright, I have just... Fought one of those aliens, which got Marifel up to the exact level that I needed her to be. Couldn't have planned it better myself. I am actually going to make this as a save. But I'm going to save it in that second memory card that I never use. By the way, the reason why I don't use the second memory card is actually because um, it's in a different file format. And I don't know if I can even open it up in my memory card editor. Alright. So, what I want to do is make sure that Miracle has worst luck. Done! <laughs> Second off, Miracle, you are equipping the teddy bear. Do I have the teddy bear in the safe? Yes, I do. Because one of the things I want to see also is whether that will actually stop her from rerolling luck. I don't care about the luck from anybody else. I'm only testing this on Miracle. So let's go ahead and heal. This is only the second time I've actually... No, third time I've gone into an end this game. Alright. So what I want to do... Should actually still work. I needed 27 and not 24. This should work because this should only uh, this should mean that Marivel should only get poison, right? Although come to think of it, I should choose a different status effect. What should the status effect that only Marivel gets? Um, you know what? I will allow her to become downhearted. So Marivel should only become downhearted in no other status effect. Let's make sure that she's actually in the party. And let's head back to that location. I will pause this so you don't have to see me constantly using my mic over and over and over again. Third attempt. As in third random encounter slash use of my mic, not having to go through the 
entire thing repeatedly. That would be bad. Alright. So. I really need to do a review on this game. It's obnoxious in so many ways. Maybe it'll actually cause people to stop making phones this time. Okay. We need to... Well, I'm actually going to have you use that card. Tim, you are going to divide the gags in. Maribel, you are going to status lock Tim. So Maribel will not be status locked, which means that she should be constantly getting hit with downhearted and only downhearted. No other status effect. If another status effect appears, that means that we now know that the full stack of um, personal skills in that particular status effect does not prevent status effect from happening. Maribel has worse luck, so this should be the highest chance of it happening. Yep. I've got nothing else. Might as well fight it, because, um, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and dig out Maribel. That's fine. Human experiment on Maribel. Let's start this off strong. Poison and silence. Or ability block, excuse me. Sorry, that's venom, not even poison. Um, those should not have happened because she has three pips of that. Which tells me that it's not 100%. Cool. That's not what I wanted to see. But it's a conclusive result. Now, what about if she has best luck? There is a way for me to get her up to best luck. Which is the reason why I save stated. I should have saved stated at the start of the Gagson battle. No, oh, I did apparently by accident. Cool. All right. So Tim has the ability. Or does Tim have it yet? I might not have it. I don't have it yet. Damn. All right. How long is it before Tim has that ability? Okay. That means that the only way that I can do this is by leaving this dungeon and sleeping until Maribel gets best luck. I think I can do that. I wonder if it's worth it for me to save game hack figure out where personal skills are located and just get all of them. Which, by the way, that's actually how I'm planning on trying to figure out the difference between characters. I don't even know why I bothered taking the dragon, but whatever. Um, okay, first off, let's unequip the teddy bear. Sure, reflex is fine. We are going to sleep until Maribel has best luck. I do not care about anybody else's luck. Only Maribel matters. Although, normal would have actually been enough now that I think about it, because I have equipment that increases luck. That is not enough, though. She actually just needs normal good or bad. Normal works. Okay. Yeah, amulet's the one that I need. 
All right, let's head back again. I'm not even bothering to pause the recording this time because this is a part of my process. You can see how much I fail when I do this in the fast forward. By the way, do people actually like it when I do these let's analyzes? I never know if this is actually something that people are interested in. I mean, I know a lot of people are interested in only the... There's a gags in this early? Okay. Well, that makes things a lot quicker to get to then. Um... Okay. So yeah, I actually don't know if people enjoy these or if I'm just doing it for my own good. I mean, if I am doing it for my own good, that's fine. I don't have a problem with that concept. I just would like to know because then I know what types of things to go and what types of things to not go. Never good at the whole, is this actually something people care about? Thing? In theory, if it was worse luck that was causing me to still have a chance of being hit with status effects, this would be very useful information. So it means you can prevent status effects using those abilities. Again, I still am capable of being forgetful. There's no other status effect. So let's fight this now. Exile. Just downhearted. Also, you can see the frame rate. Whoa. Uh, if I remember right, the game only runs battles at 12 frames per second to begin with. Which is not great. Need more force points. What the hell am I gonna do with you? Banishes enemy to demon triangle. I just want to see what that looks like. Human experimentation on Miracle. This will also help us figure it out. There is the other status effects. She's not immune. Now, it's probably a really low chance of those status effects happening, but that tells me that those status effects preventing things are useless. Demon angle. I wanted a cool looking triangle. Okay, so in conclusion, it does not matter. None of those personal skills matter. All they do is waste your personal skills. Yes, you would have a lower chance of getting hit by these things, but. You just saw Maribel get hit by two status effects that she should have had three pips of prevention in. Didn't, like, accidentally mess up my test run, right? No. I mean, she should be heavily resistant to poison slash vile poison. Venom is what it's called in one of the games. Is that Wild Arms 3 that calls it Venom? Anyway, she should be basically in, in my mind. That's the only way that those personal skills actually would make any sense at all is to actually make her immune. The fact that it doesn't means that they're useless. Cool. Now that I've done that, let's load back our real game. So, we've decisively concluded that the status effect personal skills are useless. Are there any other personal skills that we need to check other than the magic ones? I know I need to do the magic ones. So let's see, cut FP use is really obvious, it's just dropping the first point cost of everything by one. Um, 
that's useful, especially for certain levels, like the levels I'm in right now, where I'm level 46. Being able to cut it by three means, the moment I hit level 47, I can use abilities that would normally cost 50. That's really nice. It's not super awesome. It's not something that I would prioritize. It's probably not even something I would use early on. Unless if I'm doing a low-level run and I specifically needed Ashley to have certain force abilities. Um, up HP. Always good. Just don't even think about not using it because it's a permanent ability. Restore HP. We've gone through the healing ones. Some of them are useful, some of them are garbage. A parameter. This is really nice for the characters with high attack. It's still decent on the other characters, just it's not as nice as what it is on, say, Cannon or Ashley or Brad. Fence Guard. What this is is just the chance of you actually defending, if I remember correctly. obvious, counter fairly obvious. This is just healing you up when you level up. This is increasing your speed when you're closer to death. This is only useful on Ashley. Pretty much any of the things that go up near death are great on Ashley and useless on everybody else. Uh, convert HP is a decent way of healing at the end of combat. FP up, again, it's near death. It's good on Ashley, not on anybody else. Defend up near death, again, but on Ashley, not on anybody else. Instant death resistance could be useful if it's really bothering you, but you have ways of preventing instant death in this game, and they're actually fairly easy to use. Thanatos X is, what, 13 FP, I want to say? I'll double check in a moment. That's not hard to do at all. A P attack, anybody who makes melee attacks should, or anybody who uses physical damage should have a P attack. A BEM attack. Anybody who has magical damage would use a BEM attack. I can't tell you priority at the moment because I don't know it. A P defense? I don't know exactly how much it increases because it doesn't let you see it. I would probably need to test against balloons at level 1, and that's not great. Same with a BEM defense. It's not really viable for me to figure out how well it works unless if I get confused. And I don't think you can use magic when you're confused. I think it's only melee attacks in Wild Arms. And satisfact skills are useless. Thus ends the personal skills mark two. Uh, any questions about the personal skills? Go ahead and leave it down in the comments and I'll try to answer them as well as I could. I'm pretty sure I'm done with answering these. And speaking of, let's actually use these abilities. The reason why, oh, I should mention, the reason why it's useful on Ashley is that when he revert, uh, when he uses his final attack ability in my new Morphing Power Ashley form, he will actually drop to one hit point. That counts as being near death, which means that the FP up triggers a whole bunch. I think it goes up to like 50 FP, I want to say. Um, res up triggers, auto guard would trigger. This is actually the one case where restore HP when force level goes up also makes sense because your force level goes up twice from FP up, which means you're going to heal a decent amount of hit points immediately on FP. Actually, it's a really interesting case of this might not have actually been the greatest idea because you don't really need it. is best on Marival. I guessed up parameter. Her attack's not bad. Actually, isn't her attack halfway decent in the party? Let's see. Cannon has ATB 416. Oh, let's unequip Guardians for a moment. Because that's an unfair comparison. More unfair comparison. Alright, so Cannon is six levels higher than Marathol. 
right, so ATP is 324, 388 on Marivel. Marivel's actually a better attacker than Cornet, even though she has significantly lower strength. The reason being is that Hob and Nob have been maxed out. I think they're maxed out, at least. Hob and Nob are ludicrously overpowered. Um, but compared to, say, Brad, not so much. Brad's at 507. Ashley, who's the same level as Marivel, is actually almost identical in attack as Marivel. Really? Huh. Although Ashley still has another weapon remaining, if I remember right. I should look up weaponry. One moment. Oh, so there you go. All right. So it looks like Ashley does have his final weapon, which means that Marivel is better attacking than Ashley. I would have never thought about that. So maybe the up. Physical attack makes sense for Miracle. That's so weird, though. Um, the only thing that we don't have maxed out on Ashley is his armor. His armor in the final dungeon. There's a, another piece of armor for him. Uh, it also, strangely enough, increases his magic resistance when he equips it, which is nice, but... Okay, whatever. Brad. Brad, Brad, Brad. Brad has the best weapon already. Um, armor, same deal. There's better armor at the final dungeon. Uh, headband. Already has the best headband. Uh, Lilka. Lilka has the best weapon. Um, does not have the best armor, but that's at the final dungeon. Also, it has huge amounts of magic resistance. And has the best headgear. Yeah, none of the final bosses have equipment. Weird. Well, this style of equipment, I should say. Tim, Fate Staff is your best weapon. Not that that matters because you're never attacking. You are. You have the best available armor. Once more, it's in the dungeon, and you have the best available headgear. Okay. Cannon has the best weapon. Again, there's only four weapons in the game for cannon more. No. Doesn't have the best armor in the game because we haven't gone to the final dungeon. And you have the best headgear in the game. Again, there's only three headgear. It's so weird. It's almost as bad as Maribel. Um, you have the best cape in the game. Had so little defense. And you have goggles. You don't have the best... Got seven minutes. So there's an optional boss that has her best headgear. It adds plus 26 to defense, which might be nice to have. properly prepared for it or anything. But why not try it, right? Let's go ahead and re-equip people. The boss is located in Mount Chug Chug. Remember Mount Chug Chug? I love the that voice. Uh, Mount Chug Chug is. I know the exit's in the sealed region. The entrance is. Right over here somewhere. Because this is the. Yeah. So that means that it's probably over here. And I believe that the boss is actually by the entrance. 
I don't remember which boss this is. Yeah, the boss is right here. Save state. First optional boss. Oh, it's those two. This might have been a bad idea. Cyclus and Zetrum. I seem to remember this from a difficult. We are switching to Dandurium. You're going to get the only portable tablet. You are going to get. You are going to get punching gloves. The very first thing we are going to do is lucky card because otherwise I am going to forget. Cannon's not the right person to use for this. No, this should not be a cannon battle. This should be an Ashley battle. better option here. The microphone's in the way of part of the screen. There. Hopefully that doesn't change too much. Wait, why is the game audio so loud now? Hopefully that hasn't been too overburdening for people the entire video. Sorry about that. Just remember, we just beefed up Ashley quite a bit. Notice that that goes faster than first aid. Told you, there were things in this game that go faster than first aid. Ooh, that wasn't a full heal. Oh, I don't have Raftina equipped on Tim right now. Probably should. So, that brings Ashley to Mighty Morphin Power Ashley stage. Tim, go and be our first aider. Oof. This is painful. Notice that that was actually enough to fully heal Luke and Tim. <laughs> nice. And access. Let's get some nice battle music. Which of these was I supposed to hit first again? I don't remember anymore. I think that one is strong against fire and that one's weak against fire. So I'm gonna go after the one that's weak against fire first. Good tag Guardian Raptina, right? Why not? Oh, right, because Tim's my healer. That might have been the greatest plan. Oh, well. Doing it anyway. Doing a lot of damage. So, we get to our first, see our first High Guardian. Seraphim Goat. That is what Raphina looks like.
he vanishes the darkness. Or vanishes it. damage and it went after Tim? I am so confused by the current in it order. So yeah, I could use Mad Lucid, but the one I'm actually wanting to use is Gunblaze because this is actually Fire Element. Danger zone range. Crap. Okay, good. Uh, that might still kill Tim. Ooh, I'm alive. First aid went off first. Notice that first aid nearly did his full healing. Blaze. You are not making against fire. Mechanic Rewriter doing a casual 13,000 damage. It's fine. Um, get your force up a bit. Tim is on heal duty. Gunblade still does a lot of damage, so I'm not too concerned. Whitewater Slash is so damaging, though. Looks like we have Red and Black ES. I'm now faster than them with first aid, so I'm not too concerned. Okay, got one of them. Guardian Requiem is a full heal in this one, not prevention or anything. That's the prevention ability. Yeah, nope, can't touch this. Oh, that went first. That is his final ability. So notice his force points immediately go back to 50. He dealt 15,000 damage on a normal attack, you know, as you do. He's at one hit point. First aid's going to help quite a bit. And now that we're down to one of these, this is nowhere near as big of a problem. I have memories of this being a much harder fight. be better for us to do that. Let's debuff. We don't do debuffs very often in this. Oh yeah, speaking of, we should probably have debuffed the Luka. I'm not used to having a physical character with me. Notice how fast Ashley gets back up when you have those um, FP restore on low hit point abilities. It's great. Yeah. 
down 250. Yeah, that was worth it. Punch. Yeah, don't care. Ooh, he actually does get hit by counterattacks, but that's fine. He's back into access mode again. Um... Hype Weapon Ashley. Gotta keep up the hype. Uh, I don't even think it's worth healing at the moment. Grabbed and marked. Yeah. His attack's already as high as it's going to go. Access. down again, because why not? And... Ray? No? Drop the defense even further. And dead. 100,000 XP. 150,000 Gala. Ashley leveled up to 42. Will cut at 50. Tim at 51. Cannon at 48. Brad at 49, Maravel at 42, and got the Mad Goggles. So yeah, the main ways that I grind up for levels would be going to random dungeons and fighting optional bosses, which is what I'm going to be doing next video, and fighting those aliens, which require you to divide a Gagson. That's pretty much it. You can see why I probably don't have 198 battles left with Tim if I were to just grind up that way. Because, yeah, you don't need that much XP. I am going to go back to save. Yes. But first, we need the magic eggles! <laughs> okay. Um, let's teleport back to Maria and save and exit. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Where we're going to be fighting a whole bunch of random monsters. Because there's not really much else to do. Bye!